When I first entered the field of AI 20 years ago, it was a young student with the love of science and, and computer science and neuroscience. But as I evolve with AI and I observe how my field of study has migrated from the lab to the real world, my sense of understanding of the impact of this technology as well as my sense of responsibility has evolved. Well, here we are in the lab at the new human-centered AI Institute at Stanford. Why did you feel there was such a need for it now? AI has come of age. It has migrated from a niche technical field to a major driving force of our future and our society. We see that in industry. We see that in the daily conversations. Here at Stanford, we recognize that uh, there's a need for thought leadership for where AI is going tomorrow and how it can be guided to make the maximum positive impact for human society. And every step of the way in our civilization, we've seen technology playing both very positive roles as well as creating or introducing um, perils. And AI has that. I want to focus on making a positive impact because this technology can save lives. This technology can create a better work environment or work process for, for many people can optimize our cities, can help uh, combat climate changes, can help our teachers in classrooms. And I do want to stay positive. We're surrounded here in the lab by uh, Jack Rabbit there. We've yes. got robots, machines. Do you think there'll be a world where machines will be ruling us? I still believe the world is created by us. and. Whatever future world we envision or we want to live in is due to the work we do today. The kind of values that I always carried is uh, persistency and, and staying honest, staying um, diligent, working hard, and, uh, and appreciating the kind of love. Love is priceless. CNBC Meets, Defining Values, brought to you by UOB Private Bank.